Resume the game. Oh, we get a okay. clock now. Did we get a clock before? I don't think yeah, we, we got, got a clock. We, we got a clock before. Did we? I don't remember the yeah. clock before. Um, from a little bit of research I did, basically the when you get the clock, that means everything that you can do in an hour has happened. Okay. So that's our... If we don't get the clock, then we're missing something. I see. Um, so does that mean we did everything between 5 and 6? Yes. Or, okay. <laughs> so, okay, we picked up... A scrying mirror. After yeah, we scrying already stole mirror. one. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, apparently we didn't stake that one. We just took note of that one. Oh, right. Yeah. I never saw him give it back. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> All right. So, let me examine it. No, oop, that's not the button I wanted. Uh, that one. That's the button I wanted. Okay, so do we want to just make our way up we, we can talk to the pub here and then we can make our way to simon and emma we make sense and then finish our way at the cult maybe unless something else happens yeah i suppose okay uh i would love to know why why team speak you keep Defaulting Mick to loud. <laughs> really likes the sound of my voice, I guess. Apparently. <laughs> Alright, into the pub we go. We got some questions about a mirror. Mm. A few more questions, if you don't mind. I see a lot of herbs and witchcraft going on in this town. <laughs> uh -huh. Herbs. 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 And cults? I mean, come on. This town is shady as all hell. <laughs> oh, we got we got two things to ask her. Mm. The mirror and the uh, Atlas advertisement. Oh, go for it. What do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They had an advertisement. Agency, I think. Mm. Um, when was that? Last year sometime. Oh, that was such a useful answer. Such a useful answer. I'm glad I asked. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Have you seen one of these before? Is it meant to be black like that? I think so. No. It's so you can see all the cocaine when you're dropping it into lines. <laughs> Don't do that, kids. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Just don't. Uh, is that everything? Yeah, we appear to have asked her about everything. You asked her about the photo frames and paint? She doesn't know anything about it. Oh. She wouldn't Thank know you. about the the, oh, the, right. the herbal painting. <laughs> herbal painting? <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to insist on correcting me. <laughs> All right, out of the pub we go. Uh, I think we want to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna check by the place where we found the key again. Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing at the village hall. Okay, now we want to go this way. We'll go talk to Sam and, and Emma. <laughs> Hey, we come go to bug you guys again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Simon or Emma first? Uh, Simon. A few Alvin, more Simon, and Theodore. Mind. <laughs> Alvin! <laughs> Ever seen one of these? <laughs> yeah, that's one of James's. He's into like New Age stuff, mysticism, magic spells, that sort of thing. Really? He's nuts, though. <laughs> you don't say. Well, he thinks the government are tracking him or something. <laughs> why would he think that? Because well, the government's probably him. tracking him. <laughs> That's probably why he thinks that. I mean, they probably are tracking him. <laughs> We've met James. 
Yes. This would not surprise me. Nope. <laughs> not so much. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Emma, darling. <laughs> what do you know about Creepy Shizer? Have you seen one of these before? Is that from James? Now, what do you know about James? That he's creepy. <laughs> he was selling them last Friday at the market. There's, there's a market every week type of thing. And uh, I usually go there for lunch. <laughs> so you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think so. She bought then why one, would she buy it? And uh, I went round to her flat to try it out. <clears throat> You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. Well, how do you use it? You're just meant to stare into it. Shall I show you? Go ahead. Okay, so you just... You just stare, stare like this. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, uh... Then you see... And we see... See what? Sorry. Um. <laughs> uh, look. Uh, ugh, you you meant to see a ghost or something? Look, it doesn't work. <sighs> Didn't work, sir. Okay. Uh huh. That was weird. Did you see like the shadow kind of looming up behind her in the? Yep. Huh. I was freaking out because I can hear the clock ticking in the background and I'm like, I had to remind myself that I don't have a ticking clock in my apartment. <laughs> no, that's that's my... Be back that's later on if that's okay. My, my mic is just very good at picking it up apparently. It's not that loud. Like. No, I'm pretty sure there was a clock ticking inside the <laughs> Oh, I don't know, there might have been. People apparently hear our clock too, though, so I'm just saying. <laughs> <clears throat> well, still nothing clear here. Let's go see where the body was found. Maybe something new's there. Mm. Maybe. The answer is no. Well. All right, let's go into the clearing. Nope, still nothing in the clearing. I don't know, I'm waiting for something really creepy to happen to us in the woods. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why I keep checking on on all the side paths. It's like, something weird's going to happen, I just know it. <laughs> Enter the Atlas Grounds. I guess we might have to visit the cult first, I don't know. Enter the building. Hey, the chain's off now. Hey. So they only do their work towards the night, then. Kind of looks that way. <laughs> like a proper cult. Alright, I guess we'll go into the atrium. The atrium. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, <laughs> according to the report. We have to, oh, do we have office. to do it with a Scottish accent? I don't know, but did not an atrium have like a you know, trees in it, and that kind of a point of the atrium. I, I, I there's, there's various meanings to the word. I'd always come to the impression it meant that there were trees and like open to sunlight and things like that. Eh. Oh, so we could, we could go to the lounge, or we could try the mystery door on the right. <laughs> well, supposedly that's the reading room. Mystery. AKA the bathroom. Door <laughs> on the right. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you gotta go. <laughs> Mystery door on the right. <laughs> there is nothing in the mystery door on the right but a couch and some chairs. Mm. One of the chairs is facing the wall. That's a little strange. What, what the hell is going up with these? The, the, the brown chair next to the, the tan chair. I mean. That's weird, too. But okay. apparently that's of no particular significance at the moment. <laughs> ah, well. Except We're for solving a murder! <laughs> Except for somebody doesn't know what they're doing with their furniture placement. Some kind of weird feng shui, maybe. Eh. 
Huh. I'll try the door again. Nothing. That's interesting. Why are we knocking on the lounge door anyway? Can't we just walk in? I'm guessing we tried the handle and it's, like, not working. <laughs> well then. Into the hallway? I suppose we don't have much choice, do we? I was about to say, come on, there's got to be something here. Huh. Nothing at all, really? I'll try strange. knocking on the door again. <laughs> Nothing. Huh. But we've... Haven't we... That, that means we've been everywhere, though. Does it? We we started at James's and worked our way up. But did we? Where's that? What's the other place that's marked on the map? Uh, uh, that's the cult leader's house. I'm not sure if we have access to that yet, but we can check. Try. <clears throat> Let's just fast travel there, I guess. By the post office. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We can go behind it, but. Yeah, we can't do anything. We're glad we're missing something, then. That means we're missing a contradiction somewhere. Yes. Huh. So I guess we're going to have to go through the clue book. Yeah. <laughs> There's no use for the black mirror here. <laughs> Oh, here's a creepy thought. What if you go use it, like, where her body was found or something? <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Okay, okay. Uh, body found here. Go on to the jetty. Use mirror. No use for it here. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Um, well, I guess we'll go see James's. I like and... how they actually say sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe so... there's something new in his herbal garden. Maybe. His herbal. <laughs> herbal. Herbal. Nope. nope. Nothing in the greenhouse. <laughs> there was quotations there. Yeah, I never I never thought. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see if maybe James was lying to us. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Okay. So can't remember the last time he saw. Oh wait, wait, he can't. But if he sells them every Friday and she bought one, yeah. Then wouldn't. Wait, sells mirrors but doesn't make a profit. Only makes mirrors for others. Okay, there's got to be something connected with. Hmm. I can't remember the last time he saw Kate and the mirror. Yeah, I'm just not sure what. My mirror's for But others. if Emma was telling the truth, then... No. Only makes mirrors for others. Can't remember last time he saw Kate. No, that wasn't it. Didn't socialize with her. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't recognize the mask. Hasn't been to the pub for a few months. Doesn't recognize the card of the necklace. Hmm. 
Well, maybe he's not our our person, because I'm not really seeing anything that's contradictory. Mm. That we can call him out on, anyway. Yeah. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. I just wanted to sit in your house for a little bit, don't worry. <laughs> Have some herbal tea. That was weird. It's just enjoying the scent of your incense, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's check out... Let's go ask Rebecca. Maybe maybe she's lying again. Maybe. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Scrying mirror. I've never seen one before. Wouldn't know about that stuff. This one was designed last year. Ryan had the poster designed by an agency. There's Ryan's broken pub window. Heard an argument between two girls outside. See, she heard an argument about with two girls outside and didn't think that maybe they broke the damn thing and then immediately saw fucking Kate later giving her 20. Mm hmm. Maybe that and doesn't know who broke the window? Could be. 20 breakage. Yep. Uh, uh, do you mind now? Do you know who broke the window? Ah! Oh. Green! So, you said Kate gave you 20 pounds for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you She's think such a liar. the payment could have been for the broken <laughs> window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well... I suppose it could have been, yeah. Could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Not realising Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. But why would she lie about that? See, that's what I'm saying. She's either a moron or lying to us. Could be both. No reason that they no reason that has to be one or the other. It could be both. <laughs> of course, it's like we meet we meet a, a, a character in here. I'm like, ooh, hello, how are you doing? And it's like she's a lying, cold-hearted bitch. She probably killed poor Kate. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. I get the strange feeling that. Oh, dang it! That's not what I meant to push. Ask you a couple more things, please. No, no, Thank no! You. Don't, don't probably mind me. Don't, don't, don't mind me. I meant to get, leave the pub. Um, <laughs> doubt James would know anything because he said he hadn't been to the pub in months. So let's go ask Simon and Emma. 